ends up yep. uh, one round left. How do you attack Salt Lake? Uh, I think Salt Lake is going to be my favorite track, so uh, I'll be uh, very optimistic about uh, this track because it's going to be very fast, big transition, so uh, I hope to uh, feel uh, more confident uh, uh, in Utah. Austin, so what happened? You called the five, why? So, going against Lemire, I knew, or oh, TLO. TLO. Yeah. It's been a long night. TLO. Brain's fried. Yeah. Um, I noticed we were a little down on power, and I kind of told the guys, like, hey guys, I don't know if we're blowing a, a belt or what's going on, and I heard a lot of more chattering in the supercharger, or like up front. So, coming back, I told the guys, like, hey, I don't know what's going on. They're like, it's fine, you're good to go. We went out, did the burnout box, came into the start line, and I noticed there was a ton of smoke coming out of the dash and from the hood. So I called five, so I just, whatever was going on, I didn't want, you know, I wanted to give Connor the best I could, best run. We are in the finals for the second time ever, and I want, I really want that top spot to get those points to get up on the board. Um, and when we were coming back, I noticed a couple of sparks coming from under the hood, and then I got there, and the boys like, it's about to blow, so just go give it the best you can. It's not gonna leak oil, it's not gonna start a fire, it's, it's just gonna not work. I said, okay. We went out there, initiated, and I could just, it was just, it was just all motor, no supercharger, so. Gave the best we could, and then we turned around and just died. No starting. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know, I'm on a high, uh, leaving Jersey. With that number one spot coming here, my goal was to get the number one spot, and we're here, so it feels good. I'm excited, and uh, I'm ready to go to Salt Lake City for the final round and try to keep this number one spot for the championship. Man, I love it. How much pressure do you feel going into that championship as the leader? Um, I mean, I understand uh, there's definitely a lot of pressure, but uh, going in to the, with the number one spot definitely helps out a lot, um, being points leading. So hopefully we can just drive well and uh, see what happens. What an evening. I mean, how do you even put your perspective on this historic night? How demanding is this track? It's not easy, you know? It, it looks small and, and kind of simple and kind of like a, you know, just a go-kart track. No, 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 there's a lot to it. We have so much time to build momentum and then you have to lose it all yeah. and try not to hit either of the walls or go off track at the end and then build it all back again. It's very challenging and you just never know. You never know if you're going to pull off a good lap until you pass the finish line, really. Yeah, and Freddie, how was outside zone four? Uh, it, it was loose uh, and I thought it was going to be a lot harder to drive than it ended up being. I actually quite liked it because now you come in, you bomb in and then you sort of settle and then shoot back out. But what really uh, tripped me out here was the walling outer zone one. That made it very challenging and hard and as we saw today, lots of gnarly crashes and taps and whereas before you would just dip a tire, now you're 50-50 you know, grinding the 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 K wall. So, some some changes this year that made it harder, but hopefully made it for a better show. Okay. How would you assess your result tonight? Definitely happy to be on the podium. You got to be happy every time you're on the podium. And uh, you know, got beat by a 14 year old, and uh, I don't feel one bit bad about it because he is the the next level. You know, he's a new kid on the block. He probably has 10,000 laps on this track already in his bedroom and is putting it to good use and I think even James got a little stressed with Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. I knew before I ever left the start line that this was going to be a final like battling you or battling Connor, battling any of the top guys. Like, and it's 14. Yeah. It's, it's scary to think about. Yeah, it is. But it's amazing. At the same time, I was prepared to lose and uh, I would have been happy because that is just special. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Has it set in that you've made history tonight? Yeah. I'm so, of course, I'm so happy to make uh, history. But uh, I just want to say uh, the thank you for the JDN Racing Team and the Enjoy Racing GT Radio and all the sponsor and all supporter because uh, I'm in second place now. And uh, of course, this time uh, lose for James Dean, but next shadow, uh, I will get the first place, then I will win with James Dean. Uh, but the final battle and top final four battle with the Asbo and with uh, the James Dean battle, is, uh, it was so, so, so exciting battle. So, yeah, I, I can't believe this thing, but I'm so happy to do this thing. Thank you. Congrats, hero. Thank you.